The police have the surprise element on their side, but in many cases, like when they went here to this house in New Hallville, the address is no longer good. But you'll see, they'll go almost anywhere to find their suspect. They found Robert Bell on the first try, though he didn't make it easy. He was surprised. He uh, attempted to flee out the back door. Here, the early morning door knock pays off, nabbing him on conspiracy to sell drugs. One down, 23 to find. It took going to three addresses to track down 26-year-old Philip Elliott, finally finding him at his job at the Subway warehouse in Milford. They got you at the job. Was that upsetting? Embarrassing. The officers treat each attempt as a danger, as many they're looking for are wanted for firearms offenses. This raid, the result of a seven-month undercover probe along with the ATF. They've already seized over a dozen guns. Uh, it's more effective also to get long-term investigations and sometimes federal sentences to get the people in jail uh, longer term. Something this suspect is beginning to realize. They made a mistake, pretty much. Firearms, wow. That's serious. As for those they don't get this time? We'll be back out there. All the suspects that are picked up will have to go to court. But if they're able to then post bond, they could be right back out in the neighborhood. Reporting on the scene in New Haven, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.